same here git is a version control software but what is version control so some people are saying open source it's yeah somewhat it's there it has something to do with open source but it's not really just open source so it's a version control software but what do we mean by version control so what are we going to do today what are we actually going to work on today we are going to work on a bunch of things we are going to check today first i'm going to make a very cool announcement this announcement especially on the first and second year students here all the first and second year students here especially this announcement is really useful for you then we're going to go through each one of these one by one and i will tell you right i will tell all of you all that this is an a simple and easy way to understand git you are not going to be you know you know needing uh, too many advanced things after this one a simple and easy way of understanding git we'll skip one of those points but yeah this is a simple and easy way of understanding git so we're going to look at what is git how it's different from github what are some of the basic commands in git and before you understand the commands we should visualize the command so we're going to visualize the command right over here so the agenda of the session is as follows we are going to make a very special announcement today especially for first and second year students you're going to get a really good announcement today from our side uh, the second thing is we are going to talk about what is git and what is github today and yes these two things are very different they are not the same thing so git and github are two different things so we're going to check that we're going to look at basic commands in git and trust me everybody even if you've never done git before if you've never understood git before you don't have to worry we are going to tell you in a very simple manner and trust me it is not complicated it's a very simple thing that's there okay finally we'll actually make our github profile i want to see you all make a really good github profile that would be really interesting so i really want to see you all you know make a github profile over there and uh, finally uh, there's an, another surprise so i want you all to sh to basically um, get that surprise so remind me at the end about this surprise and i will give you that surprise as well some really good surprises there so stay till the end for that surprise okay so we are already delayed a bit but is everybody ready to start now are you all ready to start with this yes ready okay awesome all right so the first thing first the first announcement that we want to make for all of you is that at edist uh we know that many of you first second third year students want to really just get a flavor of some programming language we have created we have actually created three free courses for you all to try out right these are three free courses that's over here and you can check out these free courses on the edist website i will share this with you all uh the links for this website as well but you can check out all of these free courses that we have created there is a free course on python a free course on html and a free course on java on completing these courses you can actually get a certificate certificate from edist so if you are looking for just knowing the basics of python or basics of html or basics of java check out these three free courses and you will get uh, a certificate also at the end of it okay links will be shared with you but the simplest way to go for it is to just to go to edist.com and i'll share with you also how you can do that i'm just sharing my screen and you know uh, share you how you can do that part so the simplest way to do is if you go to edist.com and once you go to edist.com you click courses and you click free courses when you click the free courses it opens up this page and there are these three courses here basics of python basics of java and basics of html all of these three courses are useful for you all and you can just go ahead it's completely free you don't have to pay anything it's a free course you can go ahead and once you complete them you get a certificate so that's the announcement uh, it's a free course for you all uh, just thought i'd let you all know about this especially second year students first year students great way to get a certificate and also learn about either python or java or html right so that's one and keep following uh, the edist youtube channel as well as the uh, you know uh, the, the instagram of edist and us on linkedin you will keep getting these announcements soon also where we are going to launch many more free courses some free courses on ai some free courses on uh, on blockchain and so on so you will actually be able to get uh, those free courses and a certificate in that can final year students also join yes final year students can also join this is even school students can join it's for anybody out there anybody can actually join this particular course okay uh, these are free you can just do it and get a certificate all right okay i hope you are all satisfied with that announcement right okay now let's let's go to the next uh, part which is actually what is git so can anybody tell me what have you heard about git what have you actually heard about git what have you seen about git what's git as per you 
what have you seen about git or what okay so git is version controller saying somebody saying is vcs version control i've heard something called repository i've heard something called uh, you know clone uh, repo and all of that okay cool everybody yes you are right git is a version control software we thought we, we said we'll start with git so you are right git is a version control software 100% you are right but what is version control okay so it's like saying that uh, you know c is a programming language but yeah but what is programming language same here git is a version control software but what is version control so some people are saying open source it's yeah somewhat it's there it has something to do with open source but it's not really just open source so it's a version control software but what do we mean by version control now for this to understand the concept of version control i'm not saying theoretically i'm actually giving you the concept of version control here okay so pay attention what is version control let's start by thinking that we'll actually create a game version control is used when you're creating projects so let's say you're creating a particular project right now and for that project i'm creating a game okay everybody loves playing games over here every all love playing games what what are some games you are playing these days what what are some of the games that you are playing these days let me know in the chat what games you are you are playing these days ludo okay pubg hey isn't pubg banned or is this pubg allowed now okay roblox nice nice okay all right free fire okay all right nice free fire cool genshin impact you somebody still playing uh, subway surfers man awesome okay i i didn't know you guys are still playing bgmi okay um mini militia all right walking dead okay you guys are some serious uh, runner some serious gamers all right so all of these games are there and i'm telling you in all of these games uh, version control is used okay cool clash of clans pretty nice all right let's say i'm creating a, a game okay i'm creating a game which is a very simple game that game has have, has an island it has one island in it okay and in that island there is one player also so in the version 1 all i did was i created a particular island because i'm just starting off this is my btech project let's say i'm creating a game for my btech project for my major project i started off with just one island over there that's it nothing else in this version 1 okay in the version 2 what i end up doing is i add a player also so in version 1 i just added the island where people can go and play version 2 i'm adding that the island is there and i'm adding one player also over there okay so this is my player over here and she is there and she is part of the game this is in version 2 it's still in development all my friends are every day asking hey when are you releasing this game i want to play this game i am really uh, you know interested in playing this game and so on right but you're saying wait i'm still developing it okay so then what happens is that i do version 1 here i do version 2 over here okay and then i decide okay i think my game is about to be ready let me make a new release of that game and that release of the game comes in version 3 in version 3 i made a better version of the island so this island was just one tree i made like mountains and so on in that island that's one thing i did second thing that i've done is it is not only one player it's a multiplayer game so all my friends were asking right i want to play with you i want to play with your game and so on i added multiplayer to this game okay so far so good i'm really happy i've released this version right up version 1 was working well version 2 was working well and version 3 i have released to my friends the moment i release to my friends i get a warning bug it's not working the game is suddenly right the, the game is suddenly having a problem okay and it's not actually starting to work right now it's not working right now now what could have been the issue what do you think has caused the problem in my game because version 1 was working version 2 was working but version 3 is not working what do you think has caused the problem in the game what do you all think just just guess by this information that you have you can guess over here what do you all think access somebody saying multiplayer so whatever you whatever you seen here from version 2 to version 3 what are the changes version 2 to version 3 what are the changes that can have lead to or could have lead to an error over here what do you all think okay somebody saying space somebody saying overload okay run time yeah these are all technical reasons i'm just saying look at version 2 and look at version 3 right what are the reasons that uh, it could not be working out over here okay number 1 i have changed the island 
maybe in my island file there is some changes that is not causing to work because when i checked it out last time my island was working fine but now i have changed my island maybe this new island is causing issues right everybody this could be one issue second reason could be my game works well with one player but the moment i added another couple of players it stops working right just just from this information without checking any code or anything i can see that it's one of these two issues right because up until here it was working but now it's that these two new players have caused an issue or maybe this one player caused an issue this one player caused an issue or this island upgradation caused the issue okay now tell me this if there was an issue from version 1 to version 2 let's go back and say version 1 was like this version 2 was like this if this version 2 was faulty if version 2 was faulty then what you what you do is version 1 like how do i get it back to version 1 if version 2 was the one that's faulty how do i get it back to version 1 it's a simple thing if version 2 is faulty remove the player i'll actually delete the player file right so i'll delete the player file and then i can get it back to version 1 okay it's simple thing i'll just delete the file and maybe it will just come back but version 3 is now faulty can i just delete the island file here can i delete it can i just delete the file and say that okay it will go back to the previous one no i can't delete it right i can't delete that version i can't because i don't have the previous file i updated this file to come here maybe i can delete the two players that i can do but this file has been updated it has not been a new addition it's an update okay now what i need to do i need to go back to the previous version in order to get the working file again and not just the working file in order to get get the game to a version which is working i need to go back to the previous version this is why we need git it helps us do version control that's that's as simple as that when i move from one version to another version it's not as simple as making or deleting one file in each file i might be making some changes now for each of those files how do i track what are the changes and how do i go back to a previous change this is what version control is all about and that is why we actually need version control where we can save a folder or save a project to a particular version and the next time we can come up with new projects or we can make new updates any time you have an issue we can go back to the previous update or the previous version you will get a sense of this but are you understanding what i'm trying to say here that imagine each one of these is one file in the folder i have made some updates in the file i can't just delete them and you know get them back like for example now let's go back to your project let's say you are making a particular project let's say you're making a, your final project write up right you're writing some updates but the moment you have the updates over there you can't just go back to a previous version because you updated it right with git you can go back now somebody is asking sir why can't we have a backup with us in our hard disk that's good but you will have to name each backup so that also git does git is actually just one way of doing that only what you are trying to do is you are trying to name each backup as version 1 version 2 version 3 version 4 you have to always take that particular backup what git is doing is git is also helping us with the same thing the current state of the project it's saving it it's saving that particular current state right that's what uh, it's actually doing over there okay now we'll i'll try to explain this using actual uh code okay so i'll i'll just come to the code part but before that this was git so what is github okay this is git but what does github mean github is a platform for you to store your projects so if this particular game if i have to actually store it somewhere as a project so that everybody can access it everybody can see that code i can one thing i can do is i can take a pen drive or i can share on whatsapp right that's not A, a professional thing, and it's not a, a good thing, also, right? Because if I make a change now, people will not get it. But GitHub is a place where you can store your projects and use Git to keep updating them. Git and GitHub are two separate things; they're completely separate things. Okay, Git 
will help you control the version github is an online platform where you can store all your projects or host your project and you can use git to update those projects in today's session we'll check both git and github okay i'm going to check both git and github for you all okay all right 